Hi everyone, after working as a healthcare assistant for some time in the UK, you may want to switch and work as a registered nurse in the UK. I'm going to explain all the processes you have to go through if you are a healthcare assistant or a senior carer and you want to switch to work as a registered nurse in the UK. Stay with me. I have grouped all the processes into two. The first one being those who have diploma in nursing or BSc nursing before traveling to the UK to work as healthcare assistant or senior carers. The second group is those who qualified as nurses with certificate or people who never had any nursing qualification at all before traveling to the UK to work as healthcare assistant or senior carers. Now for the first group, that's those who already have diploma in nursing or BSc nursing. If you want to switch from a healthcare assistant to a registered nurse in the UK, your process is simple. Guys, you just have to complete your NMC UK registration. When you finish your NMC UK registration, you get your PIN and you can work as registered nurses in the UK. Now, with regards to the NMC UK registration, I have a video on this channel which I have thoroughly explained how overseas nurses, midwives, mental health nurses can register with the NMC UK to work as nurses in the UK. It is advisable to watch that video because it is a good guide to your registration process. You can do the NMC UK registration independently by yourself, okay? where you pay for your own CBT and OSCE exams. You can do this by yourself. Or you can involve your employer that you are working with as a healthcare assistant. And when you involve them, they will help you pay for your CBT exams. They will help you pay for your OSCE exams. And they will also do OSCE exams training for you. So it depends which um, way you want to finish your NMC UK registration process. This is just an advice to you. Because you are working as a healthcare assistant, when you get your NMC UK PIN, you will need a new visa to work as a nurse in the UK. If your current employer that you are working with as a healthcare assistant would want to employ you as a nurse, they will help you get a new visa. If you don't like your current employer and you want to work for a new hospital, a new uh, care home, then that your new employer would have to assist you to get a new skilled worker visa to work for them as a nurse, okay? Now, just mind you, if you want to leave your current employer and you have not finished doing all your contract years, you may have to compensate them. That is, you may have to pay some money to them. So just be wise about how you go about this. Just be patient. If you are doing the NMC UK registration yourself, I would advise you to do it secretly. If you want to join a new employer, I would advise you to do it secretly, okay? Do not tell your current employers that you want to leave until you've had your certificate of sponsorship from your new employers. This is simple. Now, for those who belong to the second group, that is nurses with certificates in nursing, okay, or people who never trained as nurses in their home country before traveling to the UK to work as healthcare assistant or senior carers. These are your processes. The first one is by going through the nurse apprenticeship program, okay? The nurse apprenticeship program. Now, this is a program that is run in almost all NHS hospitals in the UK. And with this program, if you're a healthcare assistant, you can go through the nurse apprenticeship program and by the time you finish your course, you can work as a nurse associate or a registered nurse in the UK. I stand to be corrected, but I have not seen any private care home that do this nurse 
apprenticeship program. I stand to be corrected though. So if you work in a private care home, just inquire from your nurse manager if they do the nurse apprenticeship program. If they don't, then you may have to move to an NHS hospital so that you can go through the nurse apprenticeship program as a healthcare assistant so that you can work as a registered nurse in the UK when you finish this program. Now, with regards to the nurse apprenticeship program, if you want to join, the best thing you have to do is to speak to your nurse manager on the ward, okay? Or your career development nurse on the ward. Just speak to these people. They will take you through all the processes you have to go through in order to um, join the nurse apprenticeship program. Now, the qualification to join this program differs from hospitals to hospitals, okay? It depends on which NHS hospital you are working with. But generally, they will require that you provide evidence of English and math, okay? If you don't have English and math, then you have to do your functional skills level two course, your functional skills level two course. Then they will also require a level three qualification from you. With regards to the level three qualification, it is normally your BTEC or your A levels or your um, nursing access course, okay? Or your nursing access course. Just as I said earlier, the requirement to join the nurse apprenticeship program differs from hospital to hospital. So just inquire from your nurse manager or your um, career or practice development nurse in the hospital and they will take you through this. The nurse process through which healthcare assistant or senior carers in the UK can switch to work as registered nurses in the UK is by they doing a master's in nursing program, okay? A master's in nursing program in any UK university. Guys, this is simple. If you have any degree at all, a degree in political science, in mathematics, in English, a degree in geology, okay? If you have degree in business management, any first degree at all, you can do a master's in nursing program in any UK university. And when you finish your master's program, you can register with the NMC UK to work as a nurse in the UK. This is simple. When you do a master's uh, degree in nursing in the UK, you don't have to do OSCE, you don't have to do CBT when registering with the NMC UK. This is simple for healthcare assistants who want to switch to work as registered nurses in the UK. The only thing is if you don't have your indefinite leave to remain or if you don't have your British citizenship by which you get access to public funds, it means you have to fund this yourself. You have to pay your fees yourself and sometimes the pay and sometimes the fees are expensive, okay? So just be mindful of this. The last process is by you doing a BSc in nursing program in any UK university. And this process is for um, those without first degree. So if you don't have first degree or if you don't have diploma in nursing, then I will advise you that Apart from the nurse apprenticeship program that I spoke about, you can also start afresh and do a BSc nursing program in any UK university. If only you meet their requirements, you can do that program with them. Then when you finish your BSc nursing, you can do a simple registration with NMC UK and start working as a registered nurse in the UK. And again, when you do a BSc nursing program in the UK, when registering with NMC UK, you don't have to go through OSCE CBT, you don't have to do any out exams, okay? It's a straightforward um, registration, then you start working as a registered nurse in the UK. Guys, I hope this information was very helpful, okay? If you have any question, I would advise you to just leave it in this video's comment section, okay? I have a lot of videos on this YouTube channel about nursing, about migration, about visa application, about um, the job description of a senior carers or healthcare assistant in the UK, you can watch this all those videos on the Nature and Lifestyle channel on YouTube.
please subscribe to this channel please like our videos and share our videos to others to also watch as well thank you very much for staying with me and watching this video see you another time with another interesting video